pretty numb so she's not feeling too much I had just finished the right eyebrow um, the husband wanted to do some videoing on his wife um, routinely I don't allow anybody in the treatment room with me only because of uh, universal precaution trying to keep everything clean um, sanitized I just don't care anybody in there uh, while I do procedures but um, he does a lot of moving around of course he's not a professional but he did get some really nice close-ups um, and it was also comforting comforting to his wife uh, but right now uh, very minimal bleeding um, the only time I have a lot of bleeding is when they've had uh, a lot of caffeine, coke, soda, tea. But uh, she's doing... Do you have any questions? Mm, no, ma'am. Um, I always try to ask my clients on their comfort and so forth. Um, I never just go over everything without conversating with her because I don't want them feeling, an feeling anxious and apprehensive of, of the outcome. So I'm always explaining to them um, how it's coming along. Um, Right now it's doing pretty good. I'm doing the second passing on um, her right eyebrow. Again, very little um, bleeding. Um, it's looking pretty good, as you can see. I got pigment all over her, still in the brows, haven't wiped. I like to let it sit there for a little bit before um, I proceed. As I'm doing the procedure, my clients always are seeing themselves in the mirror. That way they have 100% input on what I'm doing with uh, their brows, on how they would like to see it differently or what they like and don't like. Again, it's always nice for them to see what's happening uh, to their eyebrows since they're going to be having it for about a year to four years. So it's always nice to see how it's coming along. They're still okay that thin? They're kind of a little bit thin. I'm still going to go under here. Add some more. Okay. But it's not it's not um hurting you? I'm not no. doing this one. But the color. You can't see the strokes because i got pigment all in it. The color is better. It's not too intense. And it kind of matches your own color of hair. And when I set you up, I'm going to have to thicken up the eyebrow because I already see this one a little thinner. I'm trying to shape it up a little better, but right now I'm just following what I have. And then we'll straighten it out. A lot of times I go, okay, what happened to this brow when I set you up? Because it's way off from the other one. But it always looks different from laying down to sitting up so I always try to compare sitting laying and trying to get it both even because so I'm just thickening up just a little bit I'm just filling in what little bit or gaps, light gaps that I see. Um, but always reinforcing my strokes. Otherwise, um, during her three to five day scabbing, which is very minimal with the aftercare that Maria has come up with. Awesome, awesome aftercare, by the way. Um, it prevents her from having so much scabbing that she doesn't lose a lot of the stroke and color. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Um, see you next time.